now fixed you can now install power mta smtp server on ubuntu and send unlimited emails hello guys welcome to this video this is online to alpha and this today's video we're going to be looking at how you can install power mta in ubuntu server and as we all know CentOS 7 end their live on the 30th of june 2024 let's check this update and uh from here we can uh, let me open my browser and uh, we can say send to seven lifetime and you can see june 30 2024 their lifetime expire which means you can no longer use send to seven for your smtp server send to seven is no longer functioning again so the other alternative you can use right now is using ubuntu ubuntu server it's also um, a private server which allows you to install your private power mta and send unlimited emails but when you are doing this you need a different file entirely you cannot use the file of send to seven on ubuntu because they are not the same thing so in this video i've just walked you through the demo process of how to now install your power mta and send unlimited emails for the purpose of people that are having issues on their mta this is a, an update for you that you can use so as we all know the first thing is to get your um domain you can get your domain and get your vps you can get your vph from um, contable or you should get it from ovh I'm going to be using OVH in this case. I just got my VPS, and uh, you can get your domain from uh, Namecheap, and I'm going to be using Namecheap in this video. Okay. Now, when you have your domain ready and your VPS ready, you're going to get an email just like this. You can see, uh, which shows that your VPS has been installed. This is our IP address, and this will be the IP we're going to be functioning on going to be working on today so open your byte vice and put in the host and your username will be ubuntu according to what is given to you here but if you are using a contable server your username will be root so what we're going to be doing here is to set a root password i'm going to get my password here so getting your password and click on login so i have a tutor guide um, in case if you need how you can set up your own there is full guide on how to set up this server so if you are interested just check the description below this video to reach me on my telegram or on our whatsapp to make all that for yours so it is logged in now so i need to set the root password and uh, to set the root password i'm going to be writing this command sudo okay i'm going to be putting a new password password okay now i'm going to copy this command line okay copy this and come down here again and i'm going to this and uh root password is set then i will reboot the server now okay I'll close it now it's time for us to log in as our root so i'm going to open this byte files and um, this time around i'm going to be logging into as root so root and um, we put the password and click on login then you're going to enter as root now the first thing to do according to what i wrote down here is to set your host name so you can just copy your host name once your host name is set you have it um your sudo then you run the upgrade okay so yes so just click on yes which is the okay from here so once this is done you have to install your cyber panel and i'm going to install the cyber panels using this command now we are installing our cyber panel i'm going to accept all this runtime and set this okay now the installation is um ongoing so the next thing for you to do is to go back to your um name chip which is um your domain and set your a record make sure it's pointing to this and you set your spf record at the same time and your ticking record go there and go to the advanced dns and i'm going to do all the settings and show you after it's done i will put in the uh, info so after the whole thing has been configured we have the results here we have the a record we have um, 
A record, we have the TXT record, we have the DKIM record. Don't worry, if you are getting this tutorial, everything will be given to you in the tutorial file. From here, you have to just copy and edit it to IP and your domain. So it's very straightforward. And uh, if you are interested, don't forget to check the description below this video to get uh, the full course. So while our installation of the um, cyber file is still ongoing, I think it will take around nine to ten minutes for it to be completed. So I'm going to pause this video and once it's done, we're going to come back here and upload our PMT and start sending both mails. So welcome, the process is done. The process takes um, seven minutes to be completed. So you have to copy this information before you restart this and uh, paste it in somewhere. Let me just paste it here. Okay. Then you see it asks you to restart and you can press uh, buy to restart. Okay. Now we're going to close this window and we're going to open a new window here and uh, this time around we're going to be putting our um, our mta file now it's completed and to put your power HP, you can either put it here or you should use your uh, win scp so i'm going to be using win scp here i'm going to be uploading this power mta file and you can see this power mta it's a deb dot dub file which is no rmp so it, this is for ubuntu and it's been specially made for ubuntu only and you cannot um, make use of those file on centos or at the same time you can always use centos file on ubuntu so that's why you need this course so you can um, actually understand how you can set up your own server on ubuntu so the installation i'm sorry the uploading is down we're going to install but before we install we have to run this command okay okay so from here if you press ls you're going to be see power mt file which is um, already uploaded so you install with this command and click on enter then your power mt starts installing on ubuntu so the installation is done so you have to put in your license i'm going to put in my license and i will put in my config file from root, I will go to etc and power MTA to put my license. Yeah, put it in there. So on this config, um, you just have to in aim and at the same time you change the IP and save and save. So don't worry, in the course everything will be given to you. And if you want us to set up one for you, you can also check the description in the video and get in touch with us. So once all this is being configured and has uh, been um, set up, we have to run our PMT status. And let's see. So we're going to be using this command sudo system restart and uh, service PMT start. Okay. In Ubuntu, it's not going to show you okay the error. If you have any error, it's going to bring the error out. So to confirm if it's running, you can run service pmta status and let's see if it's running and you can see it's active and running good so right now i can log into the um, monitor and see how many mail is being sent and you can see this is power mt fashion 5.8 which is the latest fashion so before i conclude that this video let's make a test on our server and let's see if it's actually working and uh, we're going to be making use of SMTPA in this case. Okay, so I'll be putting my info, okay, for 25 and the other. So we're going to be test on this and uh, hit the button send, and it says mail sent successfully. So I think I just get a notification right now on my phone. So let's go on my browser here. Yeah. I'll go to my Gmail and uh, let me refresh this. And you can see the mail it comes straight to the inbox okay guys um so now you can see power mta server it's now running you can see the monitor it shows one server has been sent so you can see it's now running perfectly well on the our ubuntu server so do well to subscribe to this channel stay updated on our tools if you are interested in getting the course or you're interested in buying SMTP, just hit the description below this video and let's talk on our WhatsApp on our Telegram. So, thanks for watching this video. I'm going to see you next time.